Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to React Wednesdays where I react to videos with you guys. So today we are watching UK versus Japan school lunches with Dan and Phil. Someone requested that I watch this right here. And yeah, so without further ado, social media links are right here. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into the video. Hey guys, so I'm right. here with a very special guest. Oh, that is, there's nothing special about being a <laughs> I guest. I thought it was Stop bad, man. Thank you for being nice, though. Anyway, you may know that we both love food. Good intro, general statement there, Dan. We love our food. Snack. So we're making this video because we are addicted to an anime called Food Wars. Yes. We are mm -hmm. on season three and it is so Life good. Ruining. It's an anime about food young wars. people going to a cooking school in Japan where they become the best chefs in the world. And it's all about just watching people make food and yeah. eat it. So we but thought, hey, this is like the perfect opportunity opportunity to do one of those British versus Japanese thing but Phil what's your unique angle? <laughs> well the unique angle is we're going to be comparing UK versus UK Japanese versus school Japanese lunches. That is school right, lunches. you pull those little boxes of joy that you carry with you to hell. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a There's no UK joy. Uniform, a white shirt and a tie. Comes I think we're both very school. familiar with that. The only thing I could find on Amazon at short notice was the Japanese schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> so not like a, a Should have seen it blazer, coming. Which, no, no, you, you got me like the Halloween costume Japanese yeah. schoolgirl. Uh, okay. I think it's going to be a good look. Why do I It'll agree fit you. To come on this channel? It's too late now. Again, Strap okay. yourself in, Danny. <laughs> Is it worth it? Strap in, no, 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 we're going no, no. on a ride. No, I'm gonna be honest with you, this isn't even that bad. It looks pretty in good. Fact, it looks good. I think it's pretty stylish. I think that more men's fashion in Britain should have this weird collar thing in yeah. the shirt. Are you gonna go out and <laughs> Some about weird a strong look? Wearing it's, that. it's December, I'm not gonna go out wearing a skirt. All right. And that's just a physical comfort thing. I'm wearing my tie how the cool kids wore it. Yes. Nice and short. I don't know how it's now. Let's get those lunch boxes out for the lads. <laughs> First of all, we have the one the from British. British. Okay, the one from British. Is that a piece of paper <laughs> that what actually is British British here? Yes. So this is the classic British lunchbox. I actually had one that was more plasticky a, and a clicky. A giant plastic rectangle. But this go, is go, one Power Rangers! Mr. Men and the London go, Underground. Combined in a strange I like, mix. I don't know how much I'd have wanted this, because <laughs> when you were a British child, you'd go to Woolworths, rest in peace, yeah. and you'd be like, I want the Power Rangers one. I want the <laughs> Pokemon one. For Japan, we have this baby. Oh, oh my god. It is as traditional as we could make it. It's, Japanese bento box. It's a cat bento. Oh, oh my, look at that. That is just J a beautiful object. Japan is it already is. winning with the design. Is it Japan's winning at a lot. Where's the handle? I don't know. True. I don't know. I'm just saying. Dan doesn't have a clue what's inside I'm, any of this. Yes, well, you know, but I have an idea in the of what world might be inside is this, inside, inside this lunchbox. Some sandwiches, some crisps. I mean, <laughs> some, some pretty much. one other thing. That's basically it. So okay. we have. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. <laughs> what is yes, that? Yes, mate! The golden crisps. Pickled onion monster munch. Okay, this and that's my that childhood. Crisp nut. Then we yeah. also. <laughs> Okay, I thought you were gonna make a lunchable? sandwich, no. but this is even more British and kind of gross. Dairily Lunchables. Yeah. So this oh. is like the, the most plastic cheese ham and it crackers. Is. And you kind of create a fake oh, sandwich lunchables. out of different layers. It's like Lego meets food. It is indeed. And then we have a carton. It's important to be a carton. A carton, definitely. Uh, Ribena. To this day, what? we what reference is Ribena that? a lot and people don't know what it is. Yeah. It's a black currant water but cordial drink. Well, that's the thing though, in some countries <laughs> you don't have black currant as a flavour. Yes, so black currants are berries that look like these. Imagine it's like a raspberry but on the dark side. I can edge Raspberry. Yeah, totally. Oh, That's totally it. A satsuma. Ah, uh, yes, the token piece of fruit that wouldn't get eaten. No one would eat that. You'd come back and this would just be left. A baby bell a cheese. Baby bell cheese. I would not eat this. Who eats no, baby I'm bell not. cheese? Mm -hmm. And also a dip dab. Which we will get to. Which I always dib dab. Was dib dab, so that's a Mandela effect. This is a very generous one. lunchbox. It even has like dessert. Oh, and did I just fruit. call it okay, dib well, dab? Let's tuck in. So any kid with any slice of sense would start with the crisp. I mean, yeah, I mean, you what need else? To bang I don't even know what it is. I, I don't think I've eaten pickled onion monster munch since I was I, I seven. I think we need to give them a little intro here. Okay. These are like simultaneously the lowest of the low, the <laughs> most unhealthy and disgusting, and yet also the best damn thing ever. Oh, it smells of school. It's, it's what the classroom smell that like. That me back. They're meant to be in the shape of a monster's foot. A monster, foot. And like what hand the, or foot. Yeah. foot. I always presumed it was hand. I always thought it was a foot. Let's what? not, you know, limb shame the monsters. What? Oh, thank you. What? Whatever nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, I just turned into a uh, Winnie mm. the Pooh like or a Tigger or whatever. I don't know what it is. Just if you've never had pickled onion before, it just it's so tangy and it's so stinky. Is there even any potato in that? I don't or even is know. Or that just oil <laughs> in the shape of a hand? If you're hungover, you can smash a multi-pack mm. of that. They also had it. flaming hot, which was like if you were the cool kid, you'd have that. Next up is the Lunchables. Let's mm -hmm. snack some stacks. Uh, Phil, you're not a cheese fan. I'm are not. You, are you going to go for this? Uh, I hate oh, I, Lunchables I can smell here. The cheese. I don't think I can do it. Ooh, that's, a, that's some. It smells like it's been vacuum packed. That's some strong cheese. This is some American cheese. Phil, you have to have. Oh, I don't want to eat the cheese. You have to. You're okay. Do you want to swap? Oh. Do you want to put on the school girl out no. there, right? Oh, it's such a thick slice. Come on. Oh, I can't do it. You're <laughs> judging you right now. People are going to school with yes, lunchables. I'm I judging like you. Cheese, I'm judging. It barely counts as cheese, Phil. Uh. Um, yes. Who needs a sandwich when you got that? Oh, oh, get over it. Okay, the saltiness of the crackers. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, okay. This is, I, I was it's... expecting like a master chef, but go on. <laughs> Disguising the cheese, which is good. If it didn't have the cheese in, I would just like whack a stack of these. Mm. Whack we don't need to eat stacker. some sooner. Yeah, y'all know what the fruit whack is. Whack a stack of... That sounds like a new I'm rapper. I'm like Waka so Flocka. Whack a stack of flame. Because it's like cheese stacker, wrapped baby. in a tiny wax circle. It's so weird. And it would always like, you'd, you'd leave this wax container in the pocket of your coat or something, <laughs> and then you'd find <laughs> it three months later. Oh, I've actually wanted like, to model always take model stuff, and then you just like Jeez. throw it at people. I mean, yeah. look at that. That is a weapon and, in a school. I had a friend called Dustin Maybe. that would eat the wax. So, <laughs> don't know if oh. he's still alive. Oh, there's always a Dustin oh, that people Dustin. make eat the wax. Come on, Phil. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh, I why did I do this video? Time. Not too cheesy. I love me a baby Not too cheesy. And then the Ribena carton. I yes, always did this to my Ribena. cartons before I drank them. Is that weird? Does that do anything? It just, I, I thought it made it have more liquid in. What? <laughs> that, that makes, how did you do it in physics class, Makes Phil? sense I'm not if you're sure. a kid. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay, that's another weapon <laughs> in British yeah. playgrounds. Right. Yes, it is. Let's, violent. let's see who can get it in one go. <laughs> you're not punctuated. You're not gonna get in one go. Yep, knew it. A depth perception test. Go. Oh! oh! Incredible. I've peaked. Give us, give us your finest suck. Yes. I hate my life. I'm dead inside. There's not much liquid. You're dripping already. Oh, no. I warned you about this. I've dripped. You don't get much liquid in one of those. You don't. That's like four gulps. That is the shit. Honestly, yeah. if you live in a country where you don't have squash or cordial, just or move. Just black current. You need to move. You need to move. You're missing out. And then, like, this is <laughs> something that would be included in lunchbox. Can I move? Are we? An important. All oh, right, rich kid. <laughs> an important part of British childhood was yeah. going to the tuck shop. Oh yeah. Which I don't think shop. schools don't really have sweet shops anymore because no. they figured you pump a child full of sugar, they don't really concentrate. But part of my day was going to the huge line of people buying it and getting yeah. that powder. Or I'd go to the ice cream van and you could either get a condensated hot dog or an ice cream or both at the same time. Basically, some mysterious white powder and a lollipop. Mysterious sherbet. white powder. Sherbet. Oh no, it's everywhere. It's and like a. Just um, sherbet. Oh, that is stacked. Do it, Bill. Oh, do it, Bill. Oh, it, Bill. Um, mm. A strawberry lollipop. Crap. You lit the lolly. Coated in sugar. Um, fun dip. Ah, it reminds me of yeah. fun dip. That was a lot of white powder. Even though I did not eat, use you the stick, I just took all the powder. Can I make some cheese? So for each lunchbox, I have got a snack bonus round. Okay. Oh my gosh, gosh your eyes. Space Raiders. So I've got a variety of flavors. We have saucy barbecue. Saucy. Saucy. <laughs> beef. 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 <laughs> and pickled onion again. Okay, beef. I'll try pickled saucy onion. barbecue. Why don't you try beef? Yeah, I'll go for the beef. Each pack has a little alien with facts about them. Wow, mine looks skinny. Fight at IRL <laughs> for this one. Wow, you guys hench. Yeah. I'm scared of him. Whose crisps give you law, guys? Come on. My character's favorite snack is beef flavored Space Raiders. So he's eating himself. <laughs> what? I, I can't say that smells like beef. I smell like beef. I smell like beef. Uh, it smells like crisp beef. Th they're meant to be the face of aliens. I, I mean, I'm gonna say that it doesn't look like an alien face. It's like, please help me. Okay, here we go. It tastes like the smell of a McDonald's. That's how, <laughs> that's how I would say this tastes. The smell so of a McDonald's. Intense. Was it? So that's the UK lunchbox. What are we gonna give that out of ten? I, yeah. I'm not gonna give it a rating out of ten. <laughs> You're gonna come for me in the I'm, comments. I'm gonna give it a strong seven. Okay, seven. yeah, good for you. I think it's like it's really endearing yeah. how they're all products. Like none of it's homemade, apart it's from just, maybe like a sandwich. <laughs> maybe a sandwich. It's all very plastic. Mm -hmm. It's all very chemically, but. It's, you know, it reminds us of the good old 90s good when old... everything was worse. Yeah. Yeah. Konnichiwa, it's Japan time! Konnichiwa. Okay, I'm so excited to open this. Yeah, apparently some parents <laughs> have so much fun 
making the different objects of food. They're not ready for this. <laughs> They're not ready. I'm ready. Look, Look at that! At that. Oh, that. that is okay. so adorable. Oh, so Phil, guide me through. We have spicy chicken onigiri and an avocado maki roll. Oh my god, it's like a little cupcake thing. That is so but cute. Not just that, there's a cute oh, little tomato friend soy sauce. Everything oh. should have a face. Okay, well <laughs> give me some soy All with right. our little tomato friend. If you got out anything this delicate in a British playground, someone would just like throw it. It would not. Right. I want the spicy one. Okay, you have oh. your rice triangle. Okay, here and we I'll go. Have the seaweed one. Mm. I mean, oh. I know I love sushi. It's sushi. This is what I've been craving. That's why we made the video. <laughs> to be honest, if I could I choose really a lunch nowadays, I'd right probably now. go for this. Egg. I love how the egg is a cute little rectangle. It literally looks like a cartoon. They, they find a way to, oh my god, Gudetama. It is Gudetama in oh, real life. Oh, Gudetama, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's got some wasabi in it or something. Wasabi that egg. That is delicious. That is good, right? Mm. A lot tastier than the Lunchables. I'm yes. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put it that way. So far, and then forget the dip dab. What is this? A cat face it's shaped Doriaki bite? Is that melon on the top? Oh, oh okay, yeah. so it's like a little sponge. It's a little pancake. Filled with some oh. strawberry cream. Oh, and then it has a melon cat on it. Oh. Look at it. It's a pancake. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, dip dab. Oh. It's more of like an American pancake mm. because it's nice and fluffy, not like a, a crepe, oh which is basically an English it's pancake. It's like a tiny bit of IHOP in my mouth. Well, that's a tiny small, bit of IHOP. But it was beautiful. Kind of wants well, some pancakes too. Well, the good thing about Damn. bento boxes is there's two layers. <gasps> <laughs> what? Oh my god, okay. This right. shit. <laughs> so if you're wondering who had mad knife skills. Yeah, I'm about to say, uh, did you make all no, this? No, you can actually buy cutters that cut these out into shapes. So if someone's <laughs> making a, a lunchbox for their child, they can playfully yes. cut everything into shapes. So here we have some edamame with a, a, carrot, a fish. carrot fish. You're yeah. using your fingers a lot. I oh, think in sorry. a traditional yeah, rude. Japanese... Would you individually eat edamame beans with chopsticks? I, I think you would. <laughs> Mm, and then mm. what are these here? They are octopus what about sausages. Oh, just say you're eating things with your hands. <laughs> Grab everything, something with your hands. Everything must <laughs> be cute. It has to be cute. Okay, or so it's kawaii. an octopus. Oh, or a squid. So what's this with the star on? We're gonna get to that. Okay. Uh, what does that even mean? We have some rabbit apples on a bed of melon clouds. Excuse me. <laughs> it's an apple rabbit. Yes. Look at that. Oh. Rest in peace, Flopsy. The rabbit has no face. Oops. Oh no. The grass is removed. You're destroying the presentation. So then what is this under the, the mystery star? It would be fermented soybeans. No! Oh. We did this when we went to Tokyo. Oh god, okay. I've got okay. it so you can okay. experience it again. It's mm. like a flashback to our holiday. Like I said, last week. My life. But here we are appreciating Anybody. Oh, it's so bring a girl in Japan. <laughs> Why I does it have like a condensed milk trail? So you're meant to put a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard on it. A little. This is... That is the oh, smallest, that's so cute. purest mustard container the world has ever seen. I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> squeeze this rectangle on here. That, that's gonna help hide that. And a little bit of mayo. <laughs> and a mustard and mayo. It's yeah. like some weird, I'll have everything on my hot dog, sure. As I ate all the cheese, I think you need to eat this one. Is mm. me eating fermented soybeans <laughs> really you eating a Lunchable yes. slice? Down it, fresher. This is oh. school lunches, not, not university <laughs> peer pressure. Mmm, congealy oh. strings. I, I literally don't even know what that is. You can do it. <laughs> Describe the flavors. It tasted like... Oh, mayonnaise. Ooh, a lot of mustard. That's spicy. And <laughs> under, what's that underneath? You take a bean, right? Yeah. Which is like mm -hmm. the, the bland, mushy nothing. And then mm -hmm. also a bit of like, oh, this is tinned food. Like some, some tinned tuna or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And then combine it together into just one smoky hell bean. <laughs> hell <laughs> bean. Eating it. I mean, Phil, I had some baby bell and oh, some thing. Me. Come on. A single bean. Oh, I'm scared. Come oh, on, you get your in your mouth. Mm. Oh, no. Cancel! It's like cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> Said it's stuck first, it's attached to your hand. No. Oh. Rubbing it on no. your face, it's still no. there. I need the space, space raiders. raiders. Woo! Oh. Just mm. annihilate my palate. Wow. I need something to wash this down. Don't Absolutely. worry, it's not squid juice. Oh, what I, is I, it? I have got a Pokemon drink. It's Sun and Moon Pokemon official drink. merch. Look, look at Litten. Yep. Getting, getting Litty with your drinking. I think it's called Litty. Okay. Okay. There's something about there being a marble in the top to stop it coming out, but then you have to like whack yeah, the marble. Yeah, I've always wanted to try Ramane. I, you just I said might the buy whole it. process yeah. that I've never encountered before. It's in Japanese, so I don't know what it says. That's the marble. Right, so you can't... <laughs> 
you yes. open that and you can't like unscrew it. No. And then this okay. is your marble plunger. So you need to right. put that on top of here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it feels like I'm solving a puzzle <laughs> or something. And then whack it in. <laughs> god, harder. In. Harder. Oh, that's wow! Okay. There it goes! That seems so unnecessary. I don't, why I don't, don't know why, <laughs> screw cap? I don't know why it's so intricate, but I love it. It's Pikachu's tears. Melon flavor? Melon. I think. Oh, that is delicious. It's like fizzy flavored water. Yeah. The complete opposite mm -hmm. of like a lilt or a, an iron brew. Don't worry, we're not going to end on that sour note. I did sour. get a reward. Okay. Uh, oh, I it's the this. Japanese bonus snack. Okay. Some donut biscuits. Donut right. biscuits. Again. You animals, Cute. I'm with it. And then some Cutie. caramel corn flavored shrimp. That's a lot of things combined <laughs> in one that, object. I've had there. shrimp. Chris. Okay, fine. Let's and go for the okay. flavored popcorn. What, what is caramel corn? That's like an American flavor. It wasn't my it's favorite. Corn. Right, so it's supposed to look like a shrimp. Yeah. It's like deep frying potato chips in sugar. <laughs> um, You've managed to improve everything. Oh, look at Aww. those. There we go. All right, I'm going to take one. It looks like mini donuts. Do they have a flavor? Is, I'm guessing it's just like I think sugar. It's, yeah. Sugar. That is sweet. No, just sugar in the shape of a circle. I would take that over a soybean any day, would we? <laughs> How do you rate the Japanese box, Dad? I mean, firstly, on presentation, no offense, Mr. Men London Underground, but you can't even <laughs> compare. Like, yeah. how ugly is Western so culture? So ugly. <laughs> it's like, why, why are we even trying? I don't know. Like, it was not just a nice eating thing. It, yeah. like, mm -hmm. teaches young people to appreciate beauty. Just mm -hmm. effort. Have to shove a face on anything. crafting things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give the Japan lunchbox an eight. Wow, you, you've done it, Phil. Done it. Your waiting system. You've done it. <laughs> Downhill from the fermented soybeans. I yes. know they have some pickled, fishy things as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, there are some other things that you might fishy. find strange. Yeah, but overall presentation and flavors. It was a beautiful experience. You've got to think about the environment. Ooh, I mean, you take one of those bento boxes into a British school, someone's just going to throw it over the fence into a mm. train. It's true. Where would you have the time to undo your little soy sauce tomato and go like that. That's no, true. in England it's like it's a water slam pistol. your lunchables and then duck. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy being like here. Yeah. Like you provide to me and to be honest, gonna keep that. This, you know, it's not a cheese suit, it's not a squid suit. I think we've done quite well for ourselves here. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'll keep it on for a bit. So as we said, we are obsessed with this Japanese food yes, anime that called inspired Food Wars. To make this video. And thanks to Crunchyroll, we are able to give you a 30-day trial of Crunchyroll Premium. Yeah, this is something that you can get on any of your devices. Basically, yeah. you can log in, watch all this anime, no adverts, There's boom, There's so many anime like, streaming like sites. Just go to crunchyroll.com forward slash Phil. There's, what, there's, there's Crunchyroll. Crunchy I think they did that too. Yeah. Well. They felt sorry for me. It's animation. And you can get your 30 day there's trial. This perfect thing for when you- Other places? Okay. Okay. Well, that was very influential. Like I said, Japan, anyone, me, take. Arigato. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Hook a sister up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe because you'll know what's up. And please let me know what you would like me to react to next. And yeah, I will see you guys later.